You know, a swim jig for me is a, is an excellent bait for just covering water, you know, trying to figure out what those fish want, what depth range they're in. You can just go along and just cast targets, cover a lot of water. If you come up to a piece of cover that you need maybe to let the jig go down, like you're flipping a jig on it. Like I said, a swim jig for me is just a, is a bait that you can cover a lot of water with, get a lot of bites on it, and typically figure out really fast what those fish are doing. Look at that. Oh, oh such an amazing, amazing bite. Here's another little, little tip I'm gonna tell you to pay really close attention to. Swim jig fishing is, is what I call a very subtle, very natural presentation. And when you got the presentation right, when you got the exact right trailer and the exact right color, those fish are gonna choke it, okay? Typically for me, when I'm fishing along and, and I'm getting bites, maybe I'm catching them, maybe I'm missing them. Typically for me, if a fish swims up to the bait and doesn't take a shot at it, okay? Typically for me, that means I have the color wrong. You know, because they're coming up there and they're looking at it, but they're really not committing to it, okay? That's when I feel like I have the color wrong. When they're coming up there and actually taking a shot at it or nipping at it, um, I feel like I have the color right, but I got the wrong trailer. So just kind of remember that as a general rule of thumb. If they're coming up there but not taking a shot at it, typically you got the color wrong. If they're coming up there and taking a shot at it but not fully committing to it, um, typically you got the trailer wrong. So if you just start playing around with colors and trailers, you're gonna get it eventually. And when, you're gonna know when you get it right because every one of them is gonna choke it. Oh, did you see that? How beautiful was that in that clean water? Uh oh, did we lose him? No, we didn't lose him. That was amazing. You know, we talked about when you get the jig combination right, they choke it, you know? And uh, as you can see, that fish got it. I don't know if you got to see that footage on camera, but he come up there in that clean water, just big mouthed it. It was beautiful. And that's a good one. So, you know, we're in extremely clear water. And typically for me, I always throw my swim jig on 30 pound um, high seas Grand Slam braid. No, and I don't care what brand braid you use, it's gonna have a tendency to lose its color. Um, do, I, do I know if it makes a difference or not to the fish? Um, I don't have any clue, but you know what? To me, fishing's all about confidence. And if I have any doubt of confidence, whether or not the fish can see that line, um, I'm gonna color it up. Um, and it's pretty simple, man. You just take a big Sharpie like this, hold your bait, put a little tension on the rod, and just run the Sharpie up and down the line. And all it's gonna do is take that lighter color away from that um, braid and make it black. Like I said, I don't know if it matters to the fish, but it matters to me. Look at that. This is amazing. Ah. Doesn't get much better than that.